You are listening to the Boss Experience Podcast, a podcast with conversations about business growth, self-development, and maintaining a mindset to achieve business success. My name is Michelle Davis, and I am a business strategist and coach, and I am your host. Let's get started. Previously on the Boss Experience. Welcome to another episode of the Boss Experience, the podcast that helps you turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income. My name is Michelle Davis and I'm your host. In this episode, I want to share a difference between side hustle and business, as well as some considerations you need to take into account, regardless of what it is you choose to launch. Are you trying to turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income? If so, tell me if this sounds familiar. You took a coaching certification class, but still don't know how to develop a coaching business or get clients. You bought a course only to never implement what you learned or worse, you still don't know where to start. Or maybe you're struggling to piece together a bunch of free information you find online, hoping and praying for results only to still be confused. The key to earning revenue in your online coaching business is having a process to get the right people contacting you about enrolling in your programs and services. You also need a coaching offer that gets results for your clients in addition to you being able to charge a premium price for your services. So if you need help putting these pieces together, my name is Michelle Davis, And I am the host of the Boss Experience Podcast, in addition to being a phenomenal business coach. And I created a free short video explaining where to begin when it comes to starting an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income. Just go to CEOBlueprintAcademy.com to get instant access now. That's CEOBlueprintAcademy.com. Okay, back to the show. I have an opportunity to get on the phone with a lot of entrepreneurs that believe they're operating a business, but in reality, they're operating a side hustle. So I just wanted to provide some clarity about the difference. If you're anything like me, I had no business owners in my family. Even to this day, I maybe have a two, it'll be a stretch to say three people in my family that are entrepreneurs. And I didn't personally know any entrepreneurs, so I did the best with what I had, which was just what I could find online. But let me clarify the difference between a side hustle and a business. Let's start with the side hustle. So the side hustle is simply a short-term strategy to earn cash. And a side hustle can be a job. It can be, you know, regular part-time job. Some people even have a second full-time job. Usually with a side hustle, it's done with the intention that it's for extra money and that this isn't going to be something that's going to replace your full-time job. It's also not done with the intention of longevity on most cases. And side hustles do have a cost. And I think sometimes people rush to earn the extra cash, but they don't really kind of think out, you know, what are going to be the expenses, even with an Uber driver whether it's Uber drivers or Uber Eats, think about it. There is a cost associated with that job, you know, which is the cost of the wear and tear to your car, the cost of gas. Those are things that you aren't going to be reimbursed for. And, you know, I'm not an attorney, so I can't tell you whether or not you can even claim that as an expense if you're operating a side hustle at the end of the, you know, when it's time to get your taxes. But I'm saying that to say, even with a side hustle, there there are costs, either a cost in your time or a cost in what you what you spend. There's some investment. The other thing is with a side hustle is you may or may not, depending on the side hustle you choose, be in control of your time. So you have to keep that in mind. If you have a family that you're taking care of and, and you're paying childcare costs and all of all of that to sustain the side hustle, you're going to have to kind of evaluate the cost to you. The other thing is, you know, you have to think with a side hustle is not scalable. Meaning, you know, if, let's say if you're a dog walker, you're a dog walker. And if you can't walk the dog that day, that means you don't make any money. 
So the side hustle or operation doesn't operate without you being at the helm or without you showing up every day. So, you know, that's kind of a side hustle in a nutshell. So let's talk about what a business is. So a business operates on strategy and it operates on systems. You have to have those in place if you're looking for longevity. And typically, when you start a business, your goal should be longevity. Your goal should be to operate a business that's going to, that you can leave to your children, that you can leave, to, you know, that, that can operate without you being present. And I also want to emphasize that there is an investment. There is an investment in your skills. There's an investment of time. There's an investment in learning new skills. And there is an investment in building systems and in really operating that business. And if you're going to operate a business that's going to actually sustain you, at some point you have to invest. You have to invest. Otherwise, you know, you're not really getting the knowledge you need to really build a sustainable business. The other thing you want to keep in mind when you think about systems and strategy and all of that is a side hustle, they're not investing in, you know, marketing. They're, they don't really develop, you know, necessarily the sales acumen a business owner would want to develop because they're not doing that for long, you know, longevity. So with a business, you know, you have more control. You you can you can do with it what you like. You can serve who you like. And the good thing is with a business also, you can even sell it. You have an actual asset that you're building upon. And that's not the case with a side hustle. And not all side hustles evolve into a business. Can they? Absolutely. But, you know, it takes work and it takes planning and it takes the ability to, you know, really sit down and achieve it. And, you know, to sit down and see what is it that you need to do to evolve that side hustle into a business. If you're trying to decide between the two, because, you know, starting a business may not be right for you right now. Maybe what you need is the side hustle so that you can get the cash to pay pay off debt or whatever it is you need to do before you start your business. And so how do you prepare yourself to figure out whether you should start one or the other? The key thing you want to think about is what are your goals? What are your goals with trying to earn this extra cash? Are you wanting to pay down debt? Is, are you trying to buy a new car? And what is the time frame you need to do this? Then you want to, of course, write out what are the pros and cons? What are the costs involved? What is the investment? There are side hustles that, yes, you can make money. But when you look at the cost associated with doing a side hustle, it may not be worth it to do a particular side hustle. And so you have to do that first. Otherwise, you may not be able to reach your goal by earning the cash you, you want to earn to actually do what you want to do. I mean, for me as a single mother, one of the big issues with me in choosing a side hustle was if I have to pay child care, you know, when I weighed everything out and I wrote everything out, and I'm just using myself as an example, child care was a big issue for me. Wear and tear on my car was a big, big issue for me because I couldn't, I, I didn't know a side hustle that was going to give me enough money to buy another car once that car required repairs. So these are all the things you, you know, you have to think about what are your costs associated with taking on that second job. And obviously there's always a sacrifice as well when you look at, you know, your time and your family. And then before you take on any side hustle, I just want to caution you to make sure if you're still working your nine to five, that you review your policy and procedure manual to make sure that there's nothing in your policy and procedure manual that prohibits either you working a second job or the type of work that you actually do. So with that being said, I hope that clarifies the difference between side hustle and business. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the podcast. And if you're interested in learning how to turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five, visit ceoblueprintacademy.com. That's ceoblueprintacademy.com. And once again, thanks for tuning in. And I hope you'll tune in to a future episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. That's a wrap. Be well and take care. Thank you for tuning in to the Boss Experience Podcast. Don't forget to leave a review for this episode and tune in next time.